Welcome to Holly Terminator X Training Part 20. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at working with our spark timing and our spark timing modifier tables within our Terminator X software. Our spark timing is going to always be a confusing topic as you're getting started with tuning. I'll be breaking down conceptually what the spark timing values mean and how to edit them properly to have safe combustion within your engine. We're also going to be exploring again our modifier tables. These are going to be modifying our spark timing based on the engine coolant temperature or the manifold air temperature so that the engine is going to have again proper spark timing in all kinds of conditions. Without further wait, let's jump into this video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our spark timing and spark timing modifiers in our Holly Terminator X software. Our spark timing needs to be set up correct for the engine to run at its best. So if we have too little spark timing, we'll find that the horsepower and torque of the engine are going to suffer. Too much spark timing will generate too much cylinder pressure and then we can damage the engine from knock or pre-ignition. So we have to find the balancing or the fine line between having too much and too little. There is going to be a sweet spot. We'll talk about that here in just a little bit. Let's focus in and take a look at the spark timing tables we're going to be working with in this video. We're going to go up to the very top. We see our icons here. We're going to be looking at our spark plug icon. This is going to be our spark ICF. Let's click this. Now we can see here in the navigation pane on the left, everything related to our spark timing is going to appear. So if we take a look here, our very first option, base timing table, this is our main spark timing table. This is where the spark timing gets commanded from at idle, cruise, and wide open throttle conditions. We can see here we have a graph that we can take a look at that spark timing table. We also find we have cranking ignition timing. We'll talk about this here in a little bit. We also have here, if we move down our list, there's a rev limiter section. We don't need to really discuss this at this point in time. There's a launch retard, and we're not going to cover that in this particular video. ESC parameters, this relates to our knock control. We're going to be looking at that in the next video. And then timing versus coolant temp and timing versus air temp. These are the two modifier tables that we're going to be discussing and taking a look at and learning how to set them up properly based on our application we're working with. So we'll find that, again, our base timing table here is really the focus of this video. This is what we need to calibrate and set up based on the engine we're trying to control. Now there's a lot of variables here with dialing in spark timing, so I'm gonna break down what the spark timing means here to understand what's going on at a conceptual level, make a little bit more sense as you're changing your values in your table here. They're not gonna just be arbitrary values, moving them up or down to try to achieve more horsepower torque. Now, first thing I wanna point out is that this particular table is set up on the type of simple. If you're coming from an HP or a Dominator system, this is not an option in that software. This is trying to simplify ignition timing tuning so you can get started and generate some kind of a, a spark timing base map, so to speak, so that it simplifies the process. This is trying to make EFI tuning extremely easy for novices as they're getting started into the tuning uh, with, their, with their vehicle. So I like to work with the 2D table, which allows us to actually edit and expose this table it gives us a lot more fine tuning adjustment. We definitely don't want to leave it on simple, but if you want to generate a base map and you don't really want to go through and manually set up everything here in the table, this will break down the different areas of the table and make the values change based on your different areas of operation. So the idle area here, we can see there's going to be three sections, idle, cruise, wide open throttle. Idle is going to be considered to go from here 500 RPM to 1200 RPM and all the way here from 105 kPa to zero kPa. That's going to be slicing away this section of the table as we can see here in this simplified mode. If we set a value here of 18 degrees of spark timing, it'll set the entire area here at 18. Again, makes, makes the process very simple. And then here, if we look at our cruise area, cruising is gonna be typically from 2000 above, so we can see 2000 RPM to 7000 RPM, roughly 80 kPa and below. So we see this area here in the pink color, that's gonna be associated with our timing that's commanded here at 36 degrees. Then when we go here into wide open throttle, that's going to be what they consider 90 kPa and higher. We can see that's right here in the table, all the values of 26. This is going to be where we go into wide open throttle and we start to operate um, at full throttle conditions. We see that the timing here changes based on whether we're at idle or at cruise and we're at wide open throttle. Let's talk about this now. Let's break down these timing values and what this represents so we can better understand why we have different areas uh, and different timing amounts commanded. So coming up on the screen, this is going to be helping you understand what's going on here conceptually with spark timing if this is a confusing topic. So I have an auto cycle model here that we're going to be able to go through and watch going through the process and understanding what we're trying to command with the spark timing in the table and then what we're going to find as a result of moving the values up or down. So increasing or decreasing or what's known as advancing or retarding the timing. 
from the values in our table. So what we're gonna find here is the auto cycle is gonna be starting off. We're on our intake stroke. The intake valve is gonna be opening. As you can see, it's drawing in the fuel and air mixture. The piston will move down to bottom. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.